This problem is tricky. Now it says there's a line through the origin that divides the region bounded by, they give us the parabola, they also give us the x-axis as another bound into two regions with equal area. So let's go ahead and start out. Uh, they want to know what's the slope of that line. So easier said than done. So we have y equals, I'm just rewriting this, uh, quadratic, and the x-axis is y equals zero. We also have the line. All right, what's a line through the origin look like? Here's any line. The origin means it has a y-intercept of zero. So why don't we just go with y equals mx? We do not know the slope of this line. That's what we're trying to find out. So we do not know m. So we're going to find m. <clears throat> Let's graph this out. So I know it's a sad parabola. Let's factor out a negative 2. And we're going to be left with x squared plus minus 3x. So we have x minus 3 times x. So we graph this parabola. I already know it's going to be a sad parabola, frowny face, because it's negative in front of the x uh, squared. And I know the x-intercepts. If I set it equal to 0, I would get x equals 0 from here, or x equals 3 from here. All right, that's enough to graph that parabola. We don't need the most accurate graph. So we have 0, 3. Uh, it's a sad parabola. I don't know where the vertex is. I could figure it out. There are lots of ways to do it. You could find the local maximum by taking derivative, set it equal to zero. However, it doesn't really matter where the maximum is. That's not terribly important. Now you can also plug in one half. Uh, oops, three halves, which is halfway between zero and three, and find the y value above three halves. Uh, but all of that is not really necessary here. So our line that we're trying to find right here, let's make all that orange. Our line goes through the origin. I think it's pretty clear. Uh, so the region is already drawn. And let's go ahead and shade that in yellow here. So I need to cut this region in half. Now, if I was serving people a cake of this shape and I was told to cut it in half, there's a smart way to do it, which would be use symmetry and cut it like that. However, this problem said you got to cut starting at the origin. Uh, the slope's got to be positive. If you have a negative slope, you're not cutting anything. Uh, so you've got to have a positive slope. But the question is exactly where should it be? So I just did a little estimate right here. It's probably something like that. Uh, but the problem is these shapes are not the same. So we're going to have to use some calculus here. So we have two areas. We got area one and area two. There's a few ways to approach this. We could find the total area with just the top function, bottom function, and then find that area, and then figure out what value of m makes area one half of area two. That would be one way to do it. We could also compute area one and area two, set the areas equal, and then uh, solve for m. So let's go ahead and do that method. We're gonna compute area one and area two. So area one will be A1. All right. Oh, we're about to have another problem because we also don't know that value right there, where it's going to intersect. Uh, that will be important for a few reasons. All right. So let's come back to this in a minute. 